So welcome back to my channel quick learning now our topic of presentation is broadband banding so basically this is a basic HR term so if you are planning to pursue your career in human resource department or if you have an exam so this is a frequent asked question that what is broadbanding so in my presentation I will tell you the meaning definition explanation with the help of examples and types so before starting kindly subscribe to my channel thank you so broadbanding is a pay structure that places less emphasis on hierarchies than job duties, skills and performance. So basically this type of pay structure encourages the development of a wide variety of employee skills and growth but comes with a significant decrease in promotion opportunities. So this is a, on the right hand side you have a graph of broadbanding. On the vertical side we have a dollar like we have a pay and on horizontal side we have a value job value so job value increases from left to right as this increases so the obviously the pay increases then broadbanding is the combination of several related job classifications into a single pay band for which a broad range of compensation levels is allowed so this approach gives management a wider pay range within which to pay employees. So example. So let me tell you example so you can uh, understand it well. So basically a company that subscribes to broadbanding may have a large range of potential salaries for marketing specialists while a company that doesn't is likely to have multiple titles with a small range of potential salaries for each like junior marketing specialist, marketing specialist, or SR marketing specialist. So basically, if you have a broad banding, then you can have a large or high salary. And if you have not, then you will have low salary, but you have more employees. So it is like a trade off. If you have broad banding, you have less employees and more, more salary. Obviously, they are more skilled and talented. And if you have not, then you have more employees with lesser salary. So another example is the engineering department might combine all job classifications for engineers into a single engineering band for which the allowed compensation ranges from the pay level of the least skill job to that of the highest skill job. So I hope this example explains you that what is broadbanding. So what is the benefit of broadbanding? So basically it reduces the number of la layers or levels within a company. And this is the best face saving way for an organization to collapse salary ranges and supporting de-layering. This flattens an organizational structure and reduces the hierarchy. And obviously it has some disadvantages. Number one, lack of external market rates. Broadbanding pay structures value greater internal flexibility for pay determination and movement. And non-precise midpoints, broadbanding leaves the organization with very wide salary bands within your structures. So that's all from my side. Kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have any queries, then comment.